hey guys welcome back to our channel channel files from after a very long time and uh, very sorry for the delay of posting videos in our channel guys i am almost country the ownership cat software and i am trying to work with other cat softwares but i am still learning about them don't worry i will keep on update with us the softwares okay guys so for now in this today's video i am going to um, explain about the new update tool actually it is updated a few weeks ago, not few weeks ago uh, before, uh, but I am not sure about to update it. But uh, in this today's video, we will learn about that one. Okay, let's uh, hide everything. We don't need anything for now. And then, uh, the, what uh, the tool which we are going to learn today is about ISO curve, ISO, ISO line, ISO line. Yeah. Yep. So what is the use of it? Uh, the ISO line is basically used for guys cutting the faces in the shape uh, in the shape of exactly how the does the face looks. Let me explain you clearly with the examples. Okay. okay. So let's for example. So let's hit the tool. Let's. Uh, draw something and extrude it and install I am going to draft it because then you can just see the direction side as the give 10 degrees yeah. now okay now as we are ever about the old curve to see in the in our channel the only curve is this uh, ISO ISO line and clicking on it last two faces which means it is going to work with the faces only okay let's use two fillet operation to it okay and give as much we want yeah. Mm, yeah let's leave it like this let's work this one okay now you see iso slime is like the face of the direction And there you can see after change the direction we got what we got an ISO curve that how does it is passing to it because uh, let me explain you how does it is working if you change the direction see uh, by increasing the value the curve will form the curve will form exactly the shape of the faces which we selected as I explained to you before, it is going to be selected like this. Before also because of the change of direction, we can't able to see it because the throttle part is in the on the direction. Okay, that's the two points. If you want, let's change the direction of it and click on it. Let's perform direction operation and see. There is the curve. Now, how does it coming? It is following this curve. This HS, this curve reference to power to get the curve on this face. Okay, did you did you might understand? And let's change the direction from the top plane, and you can see now increase the angle. Okay, let's reduce the angle. Let's give um, 26 degrees. So it's not taking the negative values as given. So let's keep it like this. And now increase the value. Now see how does the curve is forming? It is forming the it is uh, uh, following the base curve as a reference. So what is the isolate means it is going to create the curves on the surfaces which you want exactly so you if you can we must we might follow this process like a uh, adding the planes as using the speak tool again there we are we are performing two operations but here we don't need like that 
you can either draw the curves they might you can perform different surface operations or else uh, let's click on it and we see we had a curve or else you can edit it and make the face into split here is the option right click on it and the face comes into split and curve will not be available so the both faces are splitted now see or else the other face would not be splitted and you can get the curve like this okay I hope you will understand how to use the ISO slime curves tool which is updated in the OnShapeCAD software um, soon I'm going to teach you the other new tools on OnShape and also I'm trying, um, trying to teach you the designs the complicated designs to work with but we need more support because it takes long videos right so we need more support and uh, uh, patience to learn about them uh, if you have any queries regarding this tool or if you didn't understand please let me know in the comment box i will explain it there and also you can ping me in my social media that is available in our in our pages even it is available in our description also you can follow them there may in the discord server it might be active and solve your doubts with clear and explanation okay guys i hope you might understand how to work with the ss tool as a slim tool control in our software and thanks for watching